Good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday, time for a little Wisdom Wednesday. I'm filming this morning, so uh, there's a little more sunlight in the room today, uh, if things look a little odd. But I'm filming early this morning because I'm going to a program today that's going to honor my mom. And at 93, she is continued to remain quite active and fully plugged in and finding meaning and purpose in the work that she does in her church and they're going to honor her today which is really uh, a wonderful thing and so it reminds me of as we're talking today as I promised we're going to talk a little bit about the NAD summit and how to age gracefully and maintain functionality in terms of what we do from an aging standpoint and if we're going to age well and continue to have functionality, we need to continue to stay plugged in and have meaning and purpose. And I think that makes a huge difference with finding good health and, and uh, substantial functionality with aging is just staying plugged in. And uh, I think that, you know, at some point we'll, we'll probably talk a little bit about that in terms of not just giving up. I know that uh, many times when people retire, that's just kind of the beginning of the end because you you really do lose some of that that meaning of who you are in the world. And I know for myself, I really don't have any intention at this point of retiring. And uh, I've spent a long time and a lot of hours just getting to this point and feel as though there's still a lot that I want to learn and therefore a lot that I'd like to share with you. So in that vein, uh, as I attended the NAD Summit last week, and as promised, I wanted to visit a little bit about that. So NAD is a molecule that's, that's very important and critical in every cell of the body for energy production, but also for cell signaling and as a help to proteins within the body and within the cells themselves in helping the cell maintain its meaning and purpose in our body so that it doesn't become what we call senescent and require the body to come in and remove it. And so NAD is, is very vital and we make a ton of it when we're young. But one of the things that happens with aging is that there is an enzyme called the 38 CD38 NADase, if you will, it, it's an enzyme that breaks down NAD and it rapidly goes up as we age. And NAD then begins to fall. And so functionality and energy is more and more important as we age because we lose it. And we want to, to maintain as much energy and strength as we can and uh, make sure that we maintain this significant level of functionality. So NAD typically then is something, because it falls, we want to address in a couple of ways. We want to help raise it, but we also want to diminish that enzyme that breaks it down. So we have a couple of approaches, and we can do that with ways that we can eat. We can eat in a way that does not cause more inflammation, which raises that enzyme that degradates the NAD in our body. So one of the things that helps raise NAD from a nutritional standpoint are, um, is, a, is a molecule called tryptophan. And tryptophan is found in a lot of poultry dishes. It's found in yogurt, fish and eggs, and uh, almonds. And we also wanna make sure we have plenty of B vitamins. Ketone esters are also beneficial, and ketone esters are what we make when we're fasting. So that's an important thing to, to consider with trying to raise NAD is when to eat and how often to eat. And as David Sinclair says in his book, just eat less often. And so doing a 16-hour fast regularly is very helpful to raise NAD levels and, and try to Finish that evening meal at least three hours before bed, no late night snacking, try to avoid snacking altogether and break your fast around 11 or 12 and another meal around six to seven and then you're done. It's also important to avoid sugars, particularly don't start your day with cereal or sugars in the morning. That is uh, basically kryptonite to NAD 
and you want to be able to remove all the abnormal and trans fat. So get rid of all your vegetable oils and just stick with olive oil and uh, butter and some of the MCT oils, coconut oils, etc., are going to be much healthier overall. And of course, then with exercise, important to do some strength training, resistance training, and then improve your sleep and make sure that you optimize sleep wherever and whenever you can. It's really challenging to do that for many people. And I know that if I had the secret sauce for sleep for folks, um, I'd be on that island and uh, talking to you from there rather than here. However, um, we each have to just troubleshoot and, and hack our sleep as much as possible by whatever means we have. I've talked about the fact that I have an R ring and certainly there are many devices out there, a lot of the watches and even just your phone by your bed can monitor. And some of the beds are now doing it. You're getting HRV testing um, and evaluation with just your mattresses. So we're, we're really entering a fee, an area in time where we have access to data, which then we can use that data to really help improve our health. I think that um, some of the other things that we can do as far as our overall increasing in um, our NAD basically is we can raise NAD with NNM, which I've talked about with trans resveratrol. We can use coenzyme Q10, which can be very helpful. And um, we can do, some people are using IV NAD and there has been some benefit to that. I think we can raise our, our NAD in other ways, but it certainly is something that many people are looking at and we are uh, finding available in many instances of doing IV NAD. But I think that if we try to lower that CD38 and try to lower inflammation, we can actually raise NAD within ourselves. So the other path that we talked about was lowering that CD38 besides just raising NAD. And you can do that with a couple of supplements, quercetin, which we've talked about before, which is uh, we've talked about particularly with viral illnesses can increase zinc within the cell. It's a zinc ionophore, but it also is a, a molecule that can help lower this enzyme that breaks down the NAD. Apigenin is also a supplement and that is from grapefruit and or chamomile. Uh, there are other food products that have this. Parsley is a particularly large uh, source of apigenin, and that's been helpful. There are three or four others. L uh, luteolin has been mentioned, as well as other rich purple and red and um, deeply colored berries and fruits, in particular the acai fruit and blueberries and pomegranate juice, purple grapes, blackberries, and red onions. So these colors do make a, a difference as well. So as we kind of review and put this all together, just know that one of the things that happens as we age is there's an enzyme that breaks down NAD. So we want to lower that enzyme, <clears throat> excuse me, and raise NAD levels. And as we have talked about, it just continues to come around. You want to do intermittent fasting. You want to lower sugars. You want to improve the quality of oils and fats that you put in your diet. Timing is of value. Good sleep is of value. Working out and doing resistance training is of great value. So we continue to see the similar things as we age that we need to do in order to maintain our good optimal health. I hope this has been of benefit and I hope you all have a great day and we'll talk again next week.